Hi there, and uh, welcome to my language learning live stream, where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps. It is midday Monday here in Hong Kong on the 8th of March 2021, and we have been recorded live on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly Ip and on youtube.com slash a random bunch of letters and numbers. Why? Do we not have a nice address on YouTube? You might ask. Um, that's because if you want to have your own like custom address on YouTube, you need to have a hundred subscribers. And right now we have 67, uh, which is getting closer, but we're not quite there yet. Um, but anyway, it is very nice to see you today. And how are we all doing? Now, let me just double check because I can only see little Pichu down there. And normally we have a few more people. So either people have gotten bored of me um, or we just happen to have less people watching today, or this isn't streaming properly. So let me just double check that we are streaming correctly. Uh, on twitch.tv, it says that we are live. Okay. It says that we are live. Are we uh, streaming in the right place? I think we are. Hold on a second. Where is my dashboard? Stream manager. Edit stream info. We are streaming Duolingo. And let me just check YouTube as well. Please wait a moment. And we're having a look at YouTube. And we are live on YouTube as well. And YouTube says that we are streaming. Does it say that we're streaming Duolingo? Have we got it? No, it doesn't. Hold on just a second. Let me update that. Uh, it's YouTube Duolingo. Okay, then. How's everybody doing, if there is anybody here? Uh, let us... Hi there. Okay, let us jump into what we are doing. Um, this week, I have been studying on and off kind of hard, maybe okay-ish. Uh, I have been... I, I did lose one day on my uh, Duolingo streak, so... If you don't know, when you're studying on Duolingo, they will, um, you know, you have to have like a daily streak. And some people have a crazy daily streak. I mean, I'm just jumping ahead here. Um, look at this person. Tanenobu-san. Tanenobu. Uh, I've been watching him. By the way, uh, if you do have free time, I'm going to find his uh, his channel. Tanenobu is a really nice guy who streams... Um, hold on a second. Let me just have a look at twitch.tv. Uh, Tanenobu is a streamer. And I'll just... I'm just very quickly trying to find his username. Nah, it's gone. Where are my followed channels? Where are you, Tanenobu? I am following you. Are you right down at the bottom? Okay. Uh, his username is here. I'm just going to throw it into the uh, Twitch chat. And yeah, he streams Duolingo every day. He is yeah, far. Yeah, he streams Duolingo. Ah, that's me. Every day. <laughs> he streams Duolingo every day. He's far more hardworking than me. And uh, if you do want to uh, follow somebody who is streaming Duolingo, remember to check him out. He has a streak of 1,200 days, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, my streak, on the other hand, is far lower than that. Ashaz, how are you doing? It's nice to see you here. Uh, we're just getting ready for our Duolingo stream where we're doing a little bit of show and tell right now. But it is nice to see you. Um, I didn't notice that you were here, Ashaz. I think that you're watching on YouTube right now. So you haven't got your uh, Pokemon at the bottom. But okay, let us jump into a little bit of show and tell. Normally throughout the week, what I will do is I will keep my eyes open for some Japanese that I see in my daily life. A lot of the time, it's just things that I see on... Duolingo or whatever apps that I've been using to study, but it could also be things from, uh, like, it could be things that I see when I'm walking around town. I live here in Hong Kong, and you do see a lot of, like, Japanese characters around, and yeah, I will 
pay attention to those. I'll take photos of them. I will screenshot them. And it just helps a little bit with kind of like remembering what's going on. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the silly mistakes that I've been making over the past week. Number one silly mistake. Um, I've been getting quite fast at, from, from my point of view. I've been getting quite fast at um, typing on the Japanese Google keyboard. And uh, maybe I've been getting a little bit too confident because instead of writing e, I wrote e, e, e. I had no idea. I had no idea. Ashazasan says some messages are not coming in the chat box which you're showing. Um, what's going on there? Uh, you think there's a bug? Oh no. Okay. Um, Ashazasan says there might be a bug in the chat box. Let me just have a look. Is there any way that I can refresh it? Um, Please wait just a moment. So are you in YouTube or are you watching on Twitch right now, Ashes? Uh, let me just have a look here. I'm going to put a message from here. Hold on a second. Testing Twitch. And I'll pop that up. Doodlet. Oh, I can see it. So I can see the uh, Twitch chat. And let me just pop into YouTube and see if I can get that one. Hold on a second. We're seeing whether we have any technical issues here. We might be. And I'm just going to jump into the YouTube chat. Hold on just a second. How do I get into my YouTube chat? Yeah. You can tell that I don't really know what I'm doing after having done this for however many weeks we've been doing this. Where's the chat? Please wait a second. I'm just going to check to see whether the chat is working. Testing YouTube. And... Okay, so my messages are coming up. Um, I'm not sure why your messages haven't been coming up as shares, but uh, I do know that there is a bit of a delay on YouTube sometimes. So if you watch on Twitch, the um, it comes through like really, really quickly, almost immediately. And if you watch on YouTube, there could be a little bit of a delay. But maybe try jumping over to Twitch if, um, if that's a little bit better. So see whether that works, all right? Uh, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. We have Pikyo. Konnichiwa. Hi, konnichiwa. Ima Hong Kong wa Juji Han Koroni Hi. How are you doing? It's nice to see you today. We're just doing a little bit of looking through my studies over the last week, and then we're going to jump into some apps for uh, uh, studying Japanese in just a second. Okay. So instead of writing E, yeah, I wrote a, and I know that it's e, and I know how to read e. Uh, it was just me typing too quickly uh, and getting it wrong again. So yeah, here is Tanenobu working way too hard. Tanenobu-san, he's a uh, one thousand two hundred days. Like if I did Duolingo for one thousand two hundred days, would my Japanese be as good as his English? I'm not sure about that. Uh, but Tanenobu-san, he, uh, he studied Jap uh, English at school as well. So, uh, yeah. By the way, guys, today we have uh, a new ramune that I have never tried before. This is melon ramune. And uh, I can't remember who it was last week. One of you. One of you told me that melon ramune is really good. So we have this one. Uh, so far, the hatta ramune have been a little bit hit and miss. Some of them have been nice. Some of them not so much. Uh, if I just jump back into my ramune rankings here. Okay, then. My favorite so far is Ichigo, the strawberry uh, ramune. My least favorite is the orange one. Um, so, yeah. Let's try a little bit of melon ramune and see what this is like. It smells good. Like, it smells really, really nice. Like, it smells like melon. And the taste. Okay, at very first blush, when I, like, first tried it, it didn't taste great. Um, 
but there is definitely like a melon aftertaste to it. Definitely a melon aftertaste to it. Gaming with friends, sup? How are you doing? It's nice to see you here as well. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Who told me that that was good? Who told me? Um, do you remember, like, whoever told me that this was good? Uh, last time we were trying the pineapple ramenette, and I told you that it tasted like bad pineapple candy. This one tastes like... Like chewing gum? Like melon chewing gum, if that's the thing. <laughs> uh, Picure says, thank you for subscribing. That's very kind of you. Hold on a second. How many subscribers have we got now? Has it updated? Let me just see if I can uh, see your subscription. Wait, if you just subscribed, we didn't get the subscribe alert. Unless you subscribed before. Uh, but thank you for, uh, for subscribing. That's very kind of you. Seeing as we didn't get a subscribe alert, I'm going to see if I can make one. Hold on a second. Can we get a subscription? Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I'll just make my own alerts if it's not working. Um, uh, uh, Pikyo says, Pikyo says, do you like Ramonette? Well, he, um, I don't really like Ramonette. Um, like the original Ramonette, I think, is not great, but it's always fun to buy. We've got this little ball inside here, which, you know, I mean, listen to that. That sounds a little bit plasticky this time. Um, and it was always fun going to Japanese restaurants when, you know, years back and buying ramen it because it's a, a drink that you wouldn't normally find in like, um, like in the supermarket or anything like that. We, we couldn't find that many Japanese import products back then. So we always used to buy ramen when we went to restaurants and things. And I noticed that there's all these different flavors. And I've just started, like, trying a new flavor every week to see if I like it. This one, melon. Okay. Like, not sure about that one. I'm not sure. I don't think I really like this. It is definitely no strawberry, and I don't think it's even a peach. I don't think it's even a blueberry. Like, I will reserve my judgment until the end of the video. I don't think this is great. Mm. Unknown950. Is that you, Ashaz? Thank you for following. Uh, that is a Twitch follow, I think, over there. But thank you so much. You see, it's working. It's working. Thank you so much for following. Okay, then. So yes, we do have alerts actually working. What other alerts do I have here? Um, we do have other alerts that we have never used. Uh, you said, where is the sub or the bit? Um, we don't have that yet. So in order to get um, the subscription button or to give bits, uh, you have to be a Twitch affiliate. And right now, I mean, I, I can quickly look at my Twitch page. <laughs> you want the alert? <laughs> um, hold on. Wait a second. Um, okay, so I'm just going to jump into my Twitch and see what's going on with my channel. Um, and I'll see how I'm doing. So, yeah, to, get, to be a Twitch affiliate, there are a few things that you need. Um, firstly, you need to have 50 followers. And we have more than 50 followers on Twitch. We have 61. Uh, you need to stream for eight hours or more within 30 days. And we do that. You need to stream on seven different days. And I do this Japanese language live stream like once a week. So that's four days a month. Um, so, yeah, um, sometimes I have more than seven streams in a month. Sometimes I don't. Uh, because we've done other streams as well. You also need to have an average of three viewers over the last month. And I've got less than that. Now, if I have a look at my, like, the actual data, um, I do normally get more than three people watching on Twitch for the Japanese language streams. Um, 
But then for some of the other streams that I'd been doing, I was streaming like some uh, indie games and games that nobody's heard of and things like that. And not that many people were watching. So we are slightly down. If I do want to become a Twitch affiliate, I do need to have a few more people watching at any given time. And I need to be streaming a little bit more. I need to be working harder. That said, if I become a Twitch affiliate, I won't be able to multi-stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Because in order to be a Twitch um, affiliate, hold on a second. Ashaz says, uh, I'm Ashaz, I didn't get the alert when I subscribed. Um, I don't know whether the alert will come up if you unsubscribe and resubscribe, Ashaz. So, you know, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. But yeah, um, if I do become a Twitch affiliate, then I need to stop multi-streaming to Twitch and to YouTube at the same time. And I know some of you watch on YouTube. Ashaz is watching on YouTube right now. So uh, what you have to do, if you are a Twitch affiliate, you are not allowed to post the same video to any other platform. Uh, and by that, they mean YouTube. Um, within 24 hours of the stream ending. So what I would have to do is I would have to just stream to Twitch and then maybe upload uh, a copy of the video uh, to YouTube the next day. And I don't know. I'm not sure whether I really want to do that just yet. That said, um, if you are a Twitch affiliate, people can subscribe to you and they can send those bits and you can have all of those little extra things over there. So it's attractive. And the path to like, becoming a Twitch affiliate is easier than the path to becoming a YouTube partner. So like, if you want to be a YouTube partner, you need to have a thousand subscribers and we're not even at a hundred yet. So yeah, I, I don't want to, uh, you know, we do have some people watching on YouTube and I don't really want to leave them in the lurch as it were. Um, but at the same time, it's good to have that subscribe button over on Twitch. So right now, I don't know. Uh, we're going to see how it goes over the next few days. And maybe we will get that email from Twitch asking us whether we want to be a, a subscriber. Um, but yeah, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel anyway. And uh, thank you very much, everybody who has been following and subscribing and things like that. Let's keep going, shall we? Where were we? We were looking at our show and tell. Things that I've seen over the last week. And this week I have seen that Tanenobu-san a streamer from Japan, uh, has been working way harder on Duolingo than I have. I knew that he'd been working hard anyway. Um, he streams every morning uh, here in our time zone here. Um, and he streams a lot and he studies so hard. And he is like a lot more dedicated to his studies than I am. Shall we keep going? I've been practicing uh, Japanese by commenting on threads uh, by Japanese people. So, for example, I follow uh, uh, this uh, Twitch... Uh, this... this uh, I, I, is she a streamer? Um, she sometimes live streams on Instagram, and she draws, like, Pokemon pictures and things like that. And I will sometimes try to interact with people like her online, you know, to practice my Japanese. Um, hold on a second. Ashazazanwa says, bro, where you live, there is, there is no PlayStation. What do you mean there, Ashaz? There's no PlayStation. Um, there are no PlayStation 5s available to buy, but I think that's the same everywhere because, like, it's so difficult to buy them right now. They're in short supply. But we can buy PlayStations here. Um, in mainland China, uh, it's more difficult to buy, like, games consoles and things. But um, in Hong Kong, uh, we can buy PlayStations, Xboxes, Switches, and things like that. We don't have a PlayStation. Uh, I do have a Nintendo Switch, an OG Nintendo Switch. And there might be a Nintendo Switch 2 or a Nintendo Switch Pro coming later on. If there is, I would love to get one of those. So, yeah. I asked uh, uh, Rara-san the most important question. Kinoko no Yama versus Takenoko no Sato. Is that right? And 
I can't really read much of her answer. Let me have a look. So she says, Take no ko which is the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. It should be Mushroom Mountain. And then she says this at the bottom, and I don't know what she's saying. Uh, demo, uh, choco ga, and then I can't read. Something about eating, tabetai. Something about when she eats. I can't really read what she's saying. <sighs> oh, well. My Japanese isn't there yet. Now, as I live in Hong Kong, I do recognize these kanji characters. Um, I recognize the characters for eating and for time um, and eating and laughing or smiling, but I don't know exactly what it says, unfortunately. So I need to keep studying Japanese so that I actually know what people are writing online. Okay, let's keep going. There's no Japanese here, but... Uh, this is another cancelled event due to COVID-19. Um, a few years back, I went to see this band in concert. And uh, it's a band called Scandal. It's a girl band from Japan. I think the Japanese name is uh, Skanderu. Is that right? Skanderu? Um, Scandal. And they're a, a, a Japanese rock band. And uh, yeah, we went to see their concert a few years ago. And we were thinking about going to see their concert last year. And then coronavirus hit. And this is just another cancelled concert. So there's no Japanese to learn here. None at all. But that was scandal and we didn't get to see them. Okay, what have we got here? Ichigo. Not only is Ichigo the best flavor of ramen air, um, but... This is also, uh, and Japanese chocolates often have weird names like horn. I, that, that, to me, to my English ears, horn is a strange name for, for a chocolate. Um, but underneath here it says Ichigo no. And then what does that say? Furo, uh, furamachi. I think that's fromage. That's like French, isn't it? Fromage. Furamachi. This is strawberry fromage. I think. I think. Am I right there? Strawberry fromage. Okay. What's been going on? Okay. This is the uh, 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 Twitch streamer that I was telling you about. Tanenobu san. And we were looking here at, and he was studying on Duolingo as well. And we were looking at different kanji. And I don't know how clearly you can see that on the screen. I don't think you can see that very clearly at all. And I can't zoom in any further than this. Um, but you can see here, these three words here, how do you say that? Um, hold on a second. Hey, Google. How do you say economic in Japanese? In Japanese, that's keizai deki. Is that right? Keizai. So this is um, economy. So the strawberry cheese was kanji. Um, no, it wasn't. Hey, green laser halo. Nice to see you here. So that strawberry uh, fromage uh, uh, over there was written in uh, katakana. It was written in katakana. Let me just jump back and show you. Okay. So strawberry was written in hiragana. Uh, ichigo uh, no is also hiragana. And then underneath the uh, fromage is written in katakana. And katakana is normally used for uh, katakana is normally used for loan words, um, whereas hiragana is normally used for Japanese words. So yeah, when you see something like this, and you can see here across the top we have like hiragana, the second line we have katakana, and then down here we have some kanji words and a hiragana word there. And you see them all kind of mixed together. And a lot of the time, when you see a katakana word, uh, it stands out as probably being a loan word. In this case, fromage. Um, sorry, it is keizai. Keizai, right? Ke keizai? Keizai, I think. Not keizai, keizai. So, we have these words here, and I don't know how clearly you can see that right there. Um, but this is the word for economy. On the left, you can see the 
Chinese characters, traditional Chinese characters. And these are the characters that you would see somewhere like in Hong Kong, Taiwan, or in Macau as well. If you go to Macau, you see a lot of uh, traditional Chinese characters. And then on the far right, you can see simplified Chinese characters, which is the Chinese character set that they use in mainland China and in Singapore as well. And the kanji character here doesn't look completely like... I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit more here because I don't think that you can see that very well. So let's just zoom in. I'll try and uh, just crop it smaller and hopefully that will bring it up bigger on the screen for you. There you go. Can you see that? Um, the Japanese kanji character is more simplified than traditional Chinese, but it's not as simplified as the simplified Chinese characters that they use in, um, in mainland China. So yeah, it's quite funny for me where I see that word and I, I kind of recognize it because it's similar to the Chinese word that I know, but it's not exactly the same. Green Laser Halo says, my friend's learning Japanese, so I'm interested. You can learn too. We are learning with Duolingo right now. Um, if you want to learn Japanese, there's a few different apps that you can try. And uh, we've been using a few. So on Android, I used, uh, we're just jumping around here. Um, I used an app called Hidagana Pro. Thank you for following. It's nice to see you here. This is Yanni Monasterio. Thank you so much for following. Um, so I used two apps here. I used one app called Hiragana Pro, which is basically like a flashcard app where they will show you uh, Hiragana characters. And then you have to say what it is. And oh, I don't think we're getting sound coming out to the computer. I'll sort that out in a second. Um, and that was, it's quite a clean app. And it's just Hiragana, nothing else. So if you want to learn Hiragana, then this is quite useful. There is a Katakana version of that. This app is only available on Android. So if you're learning somewhere else, then um, you have to find a different app. And there are different apps on iOS as well. Duolingo now also has like a Hiragana and a Katakana section for learning the characters. And it's quite useful. Uh, but we've been learning a few, we've been using a few different apps. Last week, I introduced an app called Infinite Japanese, uh, which teaches a lot of like basic vocabulary, like fruits or animals or the weather or things like that. And that's kind of cool. I'm going to introduce J crosswords to you today. But first, we're still looking through my show and tell for the last week. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, oh, this is nothing to do with learning Japanese, and this is everything to do with the Japanese Google keyboard. So, I was doing Duolingo, and it asked me to translate, there are dogs and cats. And I was like, I got this. Inu to neko ga arimasu, right? Is that, do we need arimasu or just imasu? Inu to neko go imasu. Go arimasu. Whatever. That's not important. The important thing here is that I typed inu, dog, in Japanese on the keyboard, okay? And it gave me inu in kanji. It gave me inu in hiragana. It gave me inu in katakana. It gave me a different character for dog. And then it gave me this dog emoji. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at that. It gives you this dog emoji. Oh, wow, we've got so many little Pokemon down here. Thank you for joining us, guys. Look at it. If you type Inu, you get this dog. I love these. It's like ASCII art. There's another dog here. Look at this one. It's like a sausage dog. Isn't that ridiculous? So, um, yeah, if you want a good reason to learn Japanese, because the keyboard is amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, so if you type Inu, you get dogs. And if you type neko, <laughs> look at this. Okay. We've got neko in kanji. We're neko des. Uh, we've got neko in hiragana, neko in katakana. And then, is that a neko? Is that a cat right there? <laughs> look at these guys. They are so cute. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just love that that is actually included on the keyboard as standard, uh, cat and dog ASCII art, cat and dog emoji, brilliant. 
Absolutely brilliant. Okay, what was going on here? What do I need to remember? Oh, so far has a long ah at the end. Okay. Hachimemashite. Maria Tomoshima. Maria Tomoshimas. Oh, okay. So, when I started doing Duolingo, at the very beginning, um, they teach you things like, like they teach you hiragana and katakana and some kanji at first. And then you get into like introductions and things. And one of the things that it said was, watashi no namae wa, and then your name, des, right? So it's like, watashi no mai namae wa, my name uh, is, is coming later, watashi no namae wa, my name, Anthony Kelly. Uh, this. And I've heard that that sounds strange, that it sounds strange to say my name is somebody like that. Um, and I'm wondering, does this sound more natural here? So here we have an introduction. Hajime mashite. Anthony Kelly to, uh, Anthony Kelly, Anthony to moshimasu. Does that sound more natural than watashi no namaya wa Anthony Kelly des? I don't know. I, I to me, I think this might be like a more casual or or a more natural way of saying it. And yeah, I want to learn this because like when we have new people joining, like we have today, we've got a few new people watching. Um, I should be able to introduce myself, right? I should be able to say "Hajimemashite." Domo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Watashi no namae wa. Is that horrible? Hajimemashite. Uh, Anthony Tomoshimas. Is that right? Maybe. Maybe. And what should I say when people join? Maybe my name? Nice to meet you. Um, where I'm from? Maybe. Where I am? Yeah. Okay. So let me have a think about this. Okay. As soon as we get a new follower or a new subscriber, I'm going to try this. Uh, I will say, Hajimemashite. And then I will say, Hajimemashite, uh, uh, Anthony Tomoshimas. Does that sound okay? Hajimemashite, uh, Anthony Tomoshimas. Ikirisu shushin desu. Ima Hong Kong. Ah, how do you say? Ima Hong Kong. Ima Hong Kong ni sundeimas. Is that right? Is that right? I don't know. I'm trying. I need to build up like something to say to people. I will try it, okay? When we get another follower or another subscriber today, I will embarrass myself by trying to speak Japanese to them. Hajimemashite. Maria tomoshimasu. What else have we got? Tanaka-san wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu yo ne. Okay, I've got to get used to that. Okay. So, I was thinking this week about can I learn your Japanese is good. Thank you so much. Is that That's all... I can say, I've just been learning from Duolingo. Um, so I don't have a Japanese teacher right now. I did experiment with having some one-to-one -one lessons like ages ago. <laughs> Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, I need to say it now. <clears throat> Hajimemashite. Uh, what was it? Hajimemashite. Anthony tomoshimasu. Oh, Hajimemashite. Anthony tomoshimasu. Uh, Ikerisu shushin desu. Uh, ima Hong Kong ni sundeimasu. Oh. Uh, Nihongo kasei desu. Yeah. <laughs> I am a Japanese language student right now and I'm trying my best. Thank you for coming. Domo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Are we doing okay? I'm trying. I'm trying my best. And what I normally say to people who want to learn English. I tell them, try to get as much English into your life as possible. And by that, I mean, like, watch Netflix, watch YouTube, watch as many English language things as you can. Come and watch Anthony speak English on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly. Um, hold on a second. Oh, the place I want to visit most in England is the Cotswolds. Me too. I've never been there. I'm so sorry. I can't tell you about it. But um, I know a lot of people in the UK like to visit the Cotswolds and the Lake District. And yeah, if you do go to England, I think it's a good idea to try to visit some of those places. A lot of people go to England and they just visit London. 
And I don't know. Um, London is London is London, and London has its own character. And there are nice parts of London um, I've visited a few times. But I think yeah, if you go to the UK, you have to go and visit other places. You have to kind of like leave the city and and visit lots of different places. Uh, Green Laser says sounds great. Thank you so much. Okay, so I always tell people try to get as much. English into your life as possible if you're learning English, and that could be listening to English songs or watching English TV. So I decided to take my own advice, and it turns out it's difficult. I tried to take my own advice and to watch some Japanese language TV shows on Netflix, and some of them are so difficult that you just feel bad about yourself because you feel like. I don't know what they're talking about, and some of them are like aimed at kids, so they're kind of not suitable for me.、Um, but it was very, very difficult for me to find a show that I would watch, and I haven't found one yet. I mean,、um, excuse me. I will watch like Japanese live streamers. I think that's nice, but I haven't found any like.、Uh, Japanese television on Netflix that I can really get into yet, for the purposes of language learning. Like they often talk too quickly,、um, or it's often just too difficult. I did find something that was around my level though, and I don't even know what this cartoon is called. But there are a few things that we know here.、Um, it says that the audience Tachi, we know Tachi is a plural, and they said, "Wa." <laughs> like ah, amazing! Wow! And then she said, "Wow!" And then these people also said, "Wow!" And they kept using this phrase again and again, "Wow!" Because there were so many amazing things happening.、Um, Green Laser Halo says, "What's that one house show?" Oh, Terrace House.、Uh, I was. Going to try to get into Terrace House. It is.、Uh, I watched a few episodes of the latest series, and then I kind of fell off from it.、Um, but the latest series was cancelled、uh, because one of the guests on the show、um, died by suicide, and I was like,、uh, I don't know if I want to watch it now. And yeah, so like. On the one hand, I think that Terrace House is quite good because it's just people living their daily lives and talking to each other.、Uh, but I kind of don't want to watch the latest season right now.、Uh, yeah, Terrace House. Let me just.、Uh, yeah, one of them committed suicide recently. Prove、uh, prove something. Yeah, that was the、uh, that was the one that that I was thinking about watching. Let me just see if I can jump into. I can find the link, but yeah, it's on Netflix. Terrace House. They've had a few seasons.、Um, I had a look the other day, and the first season is no longer on Netflix in Hong Kong, but all the other seasons are. And、uh, yeah, it's、uh, at least in terms of how suitable the show is for me. I think the show is quite suitable. Like the the kind of language is day to day language, and that's quite good. It's more suitable than me for this cartoon, where they keep saying "wa" and "wa" and "wa," "wa," "ah," not "wa," "ah," okay, and "wa," "ah," "wa." <laughs> so I guess I learned something from this cartoon. I learned how to say "wa." What else did we see? Oh, okay, I just wanted to show you this. This is the kind of thing that you see in Hong Kong a lot, where they will try to make products look more Japanese than maybe they are. And even in McDonald's,、um, they have written everything in Chinese except for this one word, "not." And people in Hong Kong will recognize this character. Now, it's not a Chinese character. This is hiragana.、Um, there is a way of writing it in kanji, like. And you will often see、um, products in Hong Kong trying to make themselves sound more Japanese by using Japanese place names, and maybe this really is a Japanese strawberry. I don't know.、Uh, 
Um, and they put in not this one word. You see this word all the time in Hong Kong, where a product they know that Hong Kong people know this word, but they also know that it is not a Chinese word. So it just makes things look Japanese, and you'll see it all the time. You'll just see something, something, not something, something, and people in Hong Kong will recognize it, and they'll be like, "Ah,、oh, Japanese. I bet that's good." What else did I see? Arukoru, arukoru. This is an alcohol <laughs> sanitizer in Mos Burger,、um, and the reason that I wanted to remember this is because on Duolingo, when you learn the word alcohol, they translate it as alcohol, sake, or sake.、Um, but alcohol is not always sake. Sometimes it's just. Alcohol. Arukoru. What else did I see?、Um, Duolingo is sometimes good.、Uh, I wanted to type in "I get up at five." I long pressed the T to get the number five, and I didn't press it for long enough. I wrote "I get up at T." Duolingo said I still got it right.、Um, Akchan tomoshimas. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing really interesting here. We have a few nice words here,、um, like I was saying before about the、uh, katakana characters.、Uh, we use katakana for names as well. This is、uh, Shopan, the composer.、Uh, here we have Mashumaro, marshmallow. I'm not sure why this is written in katakana. Sure, sure. We Japanese think of foreign words. Katakana words are easy for foreigners to understand because they were originally used in foreign languages.、Um, yeah, I think they are. I do think they are. And like for me, as a as a student, having all of these loan words is pretty cool because it helps me to feel like Japanese is less difficult than it is. I feel smart when I see a. A katakana loan word, and I'm like, oh, I know what that is. I suddenly feel smarter. Like, look at this. Like, let's have a look. Right there, we've got that. It, can we focus there? Melon, melon. That melon. It, it's written in、uh, katakana. It's easy to understand. There's a picture of a melon. It makes me.、Uh, it makes me feel smart, but. If you are a Chinese foreigner,、um, kanji serve the same purpose. So, for people from mainland China or Taiwan or, or people who like Chinese people, when they travel to Japan, they're looking at kanji, right? If they see katakana, it doesn't really stand out. And if you've never learned Japanese,、um, katakana doesn't help that much. Okay, what have we got here? This one was thank. Is this thank you? What is that supposed to be? Thank you. Is that thank you? If it is, then I will say thank you. What else have we got? Manuaru. Okay, Duolingo told me that manuaru is manual, and I don't know whether they mean like a manual, like a book for a product, like when you buy your. New printer or your new phone, there'll be a manual inside, right? The instructions, or whether it means like manual, as opposed to automatic, like oh, I need to do this manually, manuaru. Maybe it's like a manual for a product. Not sure yet. Suku. Oh, what was this one? Suku shot. Oh, I think this is an abbreviation. So this is screenshot. Suku shot. Screenshot, suku shot, screenshot. I took a screenshot of that one. Okay, let's have a look here. Does anyone know what this is? Poncho, poncho. It's just a poncho, isn't it? Poncho. And this is the last one. And maybe you can help me here,、uh, Pikyo.、Um, this says choki. Is that right? Choki, and it tells me that this means scissors. But choki is that not a Japanese word? I I I don't know how choki is scissors. 
Let me have a quick look on Google Translate. I can throw it up here, can't I? Chalky. English to Japanese. And we are looking for scissors. Hasami. Mm. Scissor. So, Shiza. Okay, so I'm looking here and we've got um, Hasami. 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 Which is not choki. And then down here we've got Shiza, which sounds like scissors. So, what is this word here? It says choki. Is scissors. I don't know what that word is. I can't find it on Google Translate. I don't know why Duolingo is saying that. If anybody knows why choki is scissors, please tell me in the comments below because I have no idea. Uh, okay, we're nearly done with our show and tell. I did buy a new pen today for my boy. Uh, and it was a jet stream. They do write that in katakana on the side. Uh, jetto sutorimu. Jetto sutorimu. Jet stream. Okay, that's fine. But I did want to show you here. We've got some kanji characters that you should have learned by now, right? Uh, we've got the kanji characters for black, for red, and for blue. And if Ishaz is here, do you know how to say those in Japanese? Do you know it? Black, red, blue. What was black? What was black? Is it ku, 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 ku? Oh no, I've forgotten black. No. Red is akka. Blue is ao. What was black? <sighs> ku, 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 ku. Kuma is a bear. Kure? What was black in Japanese? No, I can't remember. Oh my goodness. I did all that infinite Japanese for nothing. Oh no, I can't believe I've forgotten. Okay, let's jump into our colors. Hold on. Okay then. Kuro. Kuro. Ao is blue. Aka, red. Kuro. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, orange. Hairu. Uh, chairu. Chairo. Chairo. Uh, mitori. Uh, kiro. Shiro. Uh, Murasaki and Pinku. Okay, PQ. The original pronunciation and the Japanese pronunciation are different. The meaning of the word when used in Japanese is different from the original word. Many of them are made in Japan. Oh, you're talking about the, the katakana words in general. Uh, but I'm just wondering where that word for scissors came from. This one. Choki. So, if you were saying scissors in Japanese, what would you say? Um, shisa, maybe? Or hasami? I wonder what would be a normal thing to say for scissors. <laughs> Still not sure. Okay. Are we done? By the way, guys, I went to uh, Don Quixote today, Don Don Donkey, uh, to buy this pen. Uh, I, I, I do have it in my bag. And in Donkey, donkey the prices in Donkey are ridiculous. Look at this. One dollar ballpoint pens. One dollar is like, how much is that in, in anything? Oh, you say Hasami? Okay, Hasami. What is one Hong Kong dollar in any country? Uh, one Hong Kong dollar in Japanese yen. Hold on. Japanese yen. One Hong Kong dollar is 14 Japanese yen. 14, not 40. 14. Isn't that ridiculous? A ball pen for that price? Um, what is that in US dollars? 13 cents for a ballpoint pen. That is ridiculous. It's like 10p in the UK. Um, <laughs> I'm just so impressed at the prices of things in Donkey. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just find that pen. Um, I do have it. 
here somewhere. Please wait a second, guys. Okay, here's my Don Don Donkey uh, pen that I bought for my boy. Uh, Hasami, thank you very much, Hasami. Oh, you can't quite see it because it's under the sticker there. Uh, I'll just zoom in on the picture. But yeah, this is the, uh, the, the, the pen that I bought for my boy. And if we have a look here, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, you can see this on the other pen here. So we have the three different colors here. And then at the bottom, it says chapeau, chapeau. And this is something where, like, I know the word sharp, right? It says chapeau on this one as well. It says it right there, chapeau. But I wouldn't necessarily know what chapeau means. Um, uh, you have that. Have you got the same one? Which one have you got? Have you got the um, this blue one or have you got the green one? Uh, this one has four colors. Uh, whereas this one only has three, I think. This is three and one. So, yes, yeah, chapeau is sharp pen. And again, as an English-speaking person, I wouldn't know what a sharp pen was. Turns out it's a mechanical pencil. I never knew that. Shapu is a mechanical pencil. So yes, you can learn Japanese in Don, Don, Donkey. Uh, oh, you have the Mitsubishi and Pitsu. Oh, this one is Mitsubishi. This one is also Mitsubishi. Uh, Mitsubishi, sorry. Mitsubishi and Pitsu. I've got... Um, I normally buy... Let's see, I've got a bunch of MP2 in my bag. I've got so much rubbish in here. I've got a Pilot Friction highlighter. So this is an erasable highlighter. Uh, which is fine. It's, it's okay. It's not really nice. I also have a Muji green highlighter here. And the color of the Muji one is nice. And it feels nicer to use. But the Pilot one is erasable. I mean, it's fine. It's it's not terrible. But I think the Muji one feels nicer. Um, erasable Pilot Friction pen. Muji Shapu. Uh, <laughs> A Muji mechanical pencil. What have I got here? A Pentel mechanical pencil. And uh, a Muji gel pen, a uh, ball pen. And just today, my boy now has a a, a, a uni uh, pen with a Mitsubishi pencil inside, I think. Okay, I'll leave that there for him. The MP2. Should we do some Duolingo, guys? Oh, I want this one, though. I couldn't find it in the shop. This is the Mitsubishi pen, Mitsubishi pen, and it has the uh, a stylus on the back that you could use on your tablet. That's what I want. What is this, by the way? This is curry chicken for adults only. I just saw this at the checkout today at the counter in Don Don Donkey. The English name is. 18 Prohibition Curry. Is it just like so spicy that children are not allowed to eat it? I don't know what that is. 18 Prohibition Curry. Oh, after learning the words wa, 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 wa in that cartoon, I tried it. I got my hundo shiny fletchling in Pokemon Go and I tried writing the words but I might have done this wrong because I did a mini a, ah, whereas like I just noticed in those subtitles it was wa ah, it was they were both big characters, and I did a mini ah, and I don't know if that's wrong now. Wa. Okay, let's do some Duolingo, shall we, guys? We've spent far too long looking at those. Let's see if we can do well. Look how well I've been doing, guys. Look, gold, 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 all the way down. We are very close to the second checkpoint. Um, and let's see how everybody else is doing just before we start. So 
Let's have a look at our friends. Tane Nobusan is right there with his ridiculous amount of XP. Tane Nobusan has completed a 1,200 day streak. Let's send him some congratulations live on stream. Thank you, Tane Nobu. Although, look, on Sunday, I need, like, this is Sunday is my best day so far. And I still didn't hit Tanenobu level. He works so hard. Uh, by the way, if you want to uh, watch another Duolingo stream, please subscribe to Tanenobu. Um, on, uh, you can just search for the, the uh, Hiragana characters, Tanenobu. And then you will find his channel on Twitch. Okay, Tanenobu is doing very well. How's everybody else doing? Gavin isn't here today. I wonder where Gavin's hiding. Has he been studying hard? Oh, he has. Well done, Gavin. Gavin has been studying harder than me too. Everyone's been studying harder than me. Has Liam? Okay, I'm doing better than Liam this week. Normally, Liam does much better than me. And uh, let me just have a look down here. Is everybody doing well? Ashaz is uh, zero. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Okay, guys, let's get back into our stream, shall we? So, I think today we could quite easily finish this checkpoint. So let's try and do some home first. We're very nearly done. Oh, I'm going to see if I can get the sound coming through. Please wait a moment. I'll just try and connect the sound. This doesn't always work. Okay. Can we get sound? Can we get sound? Start now. Press enter. And hopefully what will happen is that you will hear the sound coming through the computer speakers. Well, th through the uh, through Twitch. Let's try this. Uh, isu is... Isu. Did you get that? Isu. Oh, I don't think you heard it. Try again. Okay, that should be coming through the speakers. Uh, I can hear it on my headphones, so I think you should be able to hear it as well. Select the ca correct characters for isu. isu. We got it. We've definitely got it. Let's keep going. Okay, we have isu, tori, tori. which is a bird. And I remember that because birds sit in trees, and the word tree sounds like tori. That's how I remember it. This is and we learned last week that you can have a nekko for cat and konekko. Oh, hakone no konekko. Konekko. Um, and you can have a, a inu and koinu. Right? Heya. Heya. Uh, tukue. Tukue. And isu. Isu. So my vocabulary is okay. We're doing okay for vocabulary. I don't know about my pronunciation. Okay. Which one was ko? Koneko no ko. Okay. We have uh, inu, dog. Inu. With those great dog emoji from earlier. Heya. Heya. Which means room. Uh, even though that's written in kanji, in Hong Kong we wouldn't write the word room like that. Uh, tsukue. Tsukue which means desk. Uh, the character also means like machine as well in, in Chinese. Isu. Isu. And ko. ko. The word ko, um, the, the character means boy rather than child, I think, in, in Chinese. Um, and the word for good in Chinese, ho. Let me see if I can write that. And I think the, the word in Japanese is the same. Let me just translate this. I'm going to write the word good in here. Not gu, good. How the whole. You see that first character there? And the left-hand side of it is like a girl. That That's the Chinese symbol for female. And the right-hand side is the Chinese symbol for male or son. So I guess it's the idea that if you have a daughter and a son, that's good. Or if a man and a woman are together, that's good. I don't know where exactly that comes from. But yeah, the Chinese character for girl and boy together means good. 
Uh, and this one is just boy, so that must be bad, right? What have we got this? Tukue. 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 And let's check these other words as well. So we have tori. Tori. Ko. Ko. Neko. Neko. And tukue. tukue. Neko is cat, remember? Okay. We're practicing Japanese with 1, 000, well, 11,500 people. Slightly less this week. Come on, guys. We need to push this up. We need more people doing Duolingo. The sofa is over here. Oh, the sofa is over here. Wait, suddenly my Japanese brain has stopped working. Sofa wa koko desu. Sofa wa koko desu. Is it that easy? So far, so, oh, so. How do you write sofa? Oh, no. So, fu. I think that was it, right? So far. I remember it was a longer sound. I got that wrong last week, didn't I? I forgot the... Um, that line, whatever that's called at the end, so far, wa, ko, ko, desu. So far, wa, koko desu. Does that sound right? Duolingo says it's right. Koko wa, so far desu. So far, so far, wa, koko desu. So far, wa, koko desu. Tsukue wa, koko desu. Oh, watashi wa, koko desu. Matto wa, so far. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, 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 Pikyo says, so far, with no line. Yeah, I, I, I wrote that with no line before, and Duolingo said that I was wrong, and it told me that I had to add a line to make the ah longer, I guess. Koinu to koneko ga imasu. Koinu to koneko. Let me just check here. We'll jump back into Japanese, and we will Google Translate so far, and see if both of them work. So far. Okay, so I'm seeing this here as the long one. So far. So far. The long form. But when I started typing it in, it's also here without the line as well. So far. So far. So far. I wonder if they're both okay. Okay, what was this? Koinu uh, to koneko ga. Imasu. There's a cat and a dog. No, no, no. There's a puppy and a kitten. There's a puppy and a kitten. Okay. Koinu to koneko ga imasu. Koinu to koneko ga imasu. Um, in Duolingo, it always says ga. It says uh, koinu to koneko ga. Um, but I heard from somebody in the comments before, I think it was Liam, who told me that you don't say ga, that you say ga. I, I, I'm not sure. So I don't know if it should be uh, koinu to koneko ga, or it should be koneko ga. If you listen to this, hold on. Koinu to koneko ga imasu. They say ga, ga. Ga imasu. But then, if you click on it, it says ga. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to say here. Where is the sofa? Sofa. We need to make that long, right? So. Fu. Ah. Ah. Sofa. Wa. Doko desu ka? Doko desu ka? Sofa wa doko desu ka? Sofa wa doko desu ka? Tsukue wa asoko desu. Tsukue wa asoko desu. So we have koko, uh, soko, asoko. Asoko is like over there, right? Uh, tsukue wa asoko desu. The desk is over there. Okay, the desk is over there. Uh, tsukue wa asoko desu. Oh. Okay. Tsukue wa soko desu. It's a puppy. Koinu desu. Koinu nu nu. 
desu. Is that right? Koine desu. Koine desu. Okay. Sofa wa doko desu ka? Where's the sofa? Is this it? I think we can do this. Where is the sofa? Excuse me. Where are the chairs? Now it says chairs with an S here. Do I need to do a plural? Because, like for people, like gakse, gakse tachi, do I need to say isu tachi? Like, can you plural an object like that? We can plural people. Do I need to say do I need to say isu tachi or just isu isu wa doko desu ka isu ta isu tachi wa doko desu ka isu wa doko desu ka I've never tried this. Let's see if we can plural this because there's an s on the end of chairs. Isu tachi. Is it all right? Can we add a plural? Isu tachi wa. Is it okay? No! Then why did they say chairs with an S? But we can say like Kakusei uh, tachi uh, can you say koneko tachi or koinu tachi? I'm not sure how to use plurals yet. I'm not sure. Um, all I know is that Pikyo is laughing at me. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? I can't say isu tachi. It's not right. Doesn't that work? I can say gakusei tachi, right? How do I know how many chairs there are? Is it one chair? Is it a plural? Uh, where? I'm going to say where is the chair instead of where are the chairs. Where's my chair? ここです。私の、私の椅子はどこですか? わたしの椅子はどこですか私の椅子はどこですかわたしの椅子はどこですかわたしの椅子はどこですかわたしの椅子はどこですかわたしの椅子はどこですかわたしの椅子はどこですかわたしの椅子はどこですかわたしの椅
is wa to ko desu ka. Isu wa toko desu ka? Koko desu. Ashasa san, you're back. Hi, welcome back. We've done our first round of Duolingo. And we are so close. You can see on Saturday um, that I, I I forgot to play on Saturday. Uh, Pikyo, the chat is definitely delayed. It is. Um, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, the chat is delayed and I don't know how to fix it. Um, if you are watching on... Let me just jump into Twitch tv slash anthony kelly yep uh, the chat is not delayed over there so if i just jump here let me just command this for you hold on a second there we go so if you want there is a a link right there that you can follow to twitch.tv slash anthony kelly yep and there is no delay on twitch um it is pretty much live so yeah if you want to jump over there not only we be able to watch live, but you'll also get a little Pokemon down the bottom. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Saturday was Pokemon Go Community Day. I was busy catching Fletchlings, and I completely forgot to play Duolingo. So uh, you can see that my streak is not really a streak. 91 days in a row, though. We're nearly at 100. Is that it? Are we done? Bye. No, we're not. We've still got to finish intro three. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Naomi. 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 Osaka. Naomi. 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 Hiragana. Okay. Uh, Naomi. Kanji. Naomi. Naomi. We also have Tokyo, Kenta, and Osaka. Kenta. Kenta. Is that just a name as well? Kenta. Kenta. Uh, Kenta is this one. Kenta. So here we have a. Uh, how do you say that? High school. Shogaku. Jugaku. Go. Ko. Koko. 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 Or Koko is a K-san. Koko. And Gosai. Gosai. Naomi. Naomi. Kenta. Kenta. Okay. Uh, we have Sumi. Sumi. Like Sumi to live somewhere. Um, watashi. Oh. Uh, watashi wa Hong Kong ni sundeimasu. Hmm. Uh, Osaka. Osaka. Kenta. Kenta. Ah, what was I writing? That was uh, Nensai. Nensei. Nensei. Nensai. Nensei. Nen. Oh, my pronunciation's wrong. Nensei. I I have this problem with the long e sound, like uh, uh kakse, nensei, nensei. Wow, why does it sound wrong? Nensei. 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 It doesn't sound right to me, and I don't know what it is. Nensei. Kenta. Kenta. Naomi. Naomi. Okay, let's keep going. Kenta wa uh, kakusei desu. Kenta wa. Kenta wa kakusei desu. Kenta wa kakusei desu. Kenta wa kakusei desu. Is that right? Gosai. 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 Uh, Naomi. Naomi. Nensei. Nensei. <laughs> the way he says it, it's like this is like long air sound that is really nice. Nensei. Nensei. I, I don't feel like I'm making the sound correctly. Nensei. 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 It sounds wrong. Why does it sound wrong? Uh, Moshi. 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 Kenta. Kenta. Naomi wa kakusei desu. 
It's the same. This is not too difficult. Naomi. What? Kakusei. Is Naomi a Japanese name or not? Desu. Because I think the name Naomi is uh, Naomi is a is it a Hebrew name? Naomi wa gakusei desu. Kenta wa gakusei desu. Kenta wa gakusei desu. Tanenobu san. Hi there, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. Uh, I just called you out. Well, called you out. Oh, Green Laser Halo, uh, thank you so much. Are you going? Talk to you later. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimasu. Green Laser Halo, thank you so much for coming. Um, Tanenobu san, I've been telling people about you and about your very good stream and how hard you've been working. Uh, let me just jump out of here. I even screenshotted you. Where are you? Down here somewhere. Right there. <laughs> Tanenobu san. 1,200 day streak. And he's right here in the chat. Remember, if you want to follow somebody working harder on Duolingo than me, please check out Tanenobu san. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch right now, click on his name. Go over to his page, follow him, then come back here, okay? Because he's really good. He's really good. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we were reading about Naomi Osaka. Uh, Kenta wa gakusei desu. Kenta is a student. Kenta is a student. Naomi to Kenta wa dai gakusei desu. Naomi to. Right? Naomi. Naomi to Kenta. Kenta wa daigakusei desu. Oh, daigakusei desu yo ne. Da, daigakusei desu. That looks right, doesn't it? Naomi to Kenta wa daigakusei desu. Are we doing okay? Yay! We're nearly done. Okay, keep going. Naomi wa gakusei desu. Naomi wa gakusei desu. Naomi is a student. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Right? Kenta wa Kenta wa Tokyo. Ah, how do you write Tokyo? To Kyo. Is that right? To u kyo. U? Is that right? Tokyo. Let's have a look. To u kyo. U. Yes. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sunde i sunde i masu. I think that's right. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Let's try it. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Uh, watashi wa Hong Kong ni sundeimasu. Naomi to Kenta wa daigakusei desu. Naomi to Kenta wa daigakusei desu. Naomi and Kenta wa uh, why am I still speaking Japanese? Naomi to Kenta wa daigakusei desu. Naomi and Kenta are university students. Okay, we're doing good. Naomi wa Kyoto ni sundeimasu. Naomi. I feel like I'm becoming more fluent. I'm not. Eh, hey, what am I writing? I'm saying that I'm getting more fluent and I'm writing the wrong thing. Naomi wa... Kyoto. Ah, how do you write Kyoto? Kyo. U. To. Kyoto. Yeah. Kyo. U. To. Kyoto. Naomi wa Kyoto ni. Sunde. Sunde. Imasu. Is that right? Naomi wa Kyoto ni sunde imasu. Let's have a look here. 
your flick. Oh, move out the way, green laser. Okay, your flick input is great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm trying. Do you use flick input? <laughs> because I've been doing this for 91 days now, in a row almost. And uh, yeah, it gets a little bit easier. Although, although last week, instead of writing, let's have a look. Where was it? Here. You might think my flicking pussy is good. I tried to write. Yeah. Thank you. You're rating. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Wow, the raid alert is working today. It's nice to see you guys today. Um, I should introduce myself. I should try to introduce myself in Japanese. Hachimamashite. Uh, Anthony Tomoshimasu. Igirisu jin desu. Igirisu shushin desu. Ima Hong Kong ni sundeimasu. Uh, I'm a Japanese language student. I'm trying to learn Japanese. Thank you so much for raiding me. Uh, I'm trying my best. Yeah, Tanenobu. I wrote a instead of e. So my flick input is not as good as you think it is. Uh, but thank you for raiding, guys. It's nice to see you here. Okay, where did we get to? Naomi wa Kyoto ni sundeimasu. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Tanenobu wa Nihon. Oh, Nihon ni sundeimasu. Right? You live in Japan. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Kenta lives in Tokyo. Is that right, Tokyo? Naomi wa Kyoto ni sundeimasu. And Naomi lives in Kyoto. Okay, we're good. Naomi. Lives in Kyoto. I've been to Kyoto once, uh, and it was quite nice. We stayed in a townhouse, and it had been renovated, so it was quite modern on the inside. But it was it was nice staying in a in a traditional Kyoto townhouse. At that time, Kyoto was kind of it was a little bit crowded. It wasn't crazy. This was we're going back. Five six years, and it wasn't like crazy crowded at that time, but it was crowded enough. Oh, hold on a second. What does I need to jump into the Twitch chat? Uh, Tanenobu said, "Tanenobu wa Tokyo ni sundeimashita." Oh, you live in Tokyo? Yeah, we haven't been to Tokyo for a few years. Um, the last time I went to Tokyo would have been when? Goodness me. I think it was 2017. Yeah, 2017 was the last time that I went to Tokyo. Um, and we went there with my family. So my family and my wife's family and myself uh, all traveled to Tokyo together. And we went to Tokyo and we went to uh, Karuizawa, uh, Hakone, and Tokyo again. And it was a really nice trip. But uh, we haven't been there for a few years. We were supposed to go last year. 2020 was supposed to be our next Japan, uh, Japan trip. And it never happened. By the way, whoever recommended Melon uh, Ramune, you're wrong. Melon is not good. It's not good. You think you were there at the time? Where were you at the time? We were in Tokyo. I didn't see you anywhere. <laughs> If you were there, you should have said hello to me. Okay. We're done. We haven't hit our daily goal yet, but we are done with this one. Level 5. 25 gems. An ad. No, thank you. Oh, wait. So if we want to go to the next section, do we have to do this? Okay, we have to complete this challenge. Well, I've, I've got all my crowns. So what do I need to do? Let's start the challenge. Okay. Neko. Neko. Koneko no neko. Hakone no koneko. Neko. Oh, it's a different sound. Select the correct character for cho. Cho. Ba. Where's this sound coming from? I can't remember ever hearing this sound before. Oh, is it just not telling us if we're right or wrong? Uh, select the correct character for Naomi. We have Kenta, Naomi, Tokyo, Osaka. 
ナオミ名前名前、私の名前は、アンソニー。タネノブの名前は、タネノブ。名前、No, I will not get up yet. おきませんいえ、おきません。りんごが一個あります。りんごが一個あります。There is one apple. There is one ringo. It is not one o'clock. How do we say that? It is not one o'clock. Ichiji. Ichiji. De wa arimasen. De wa arimasen. Is that right? Ichiji de wa arimasen. Ichiji des. Ima Hong Kong. わあ、三時ごろにです。今香港、今香港は三時ごろにです。学校にいます。学校にいます。I'm at school, is that right? Perfect. So are we done? Oh, it's five o'clock. ご、uh, 時です。It's five o'clock. ご時です。OK. We're 11 XP away from our daily goal, and we've now completed checkpoint two. Yay! We have now completed checkpoint two, and we have new things to try. We have family and we have restaurant.、Um, what do you think we should try? One of you guys can choose. What should we try? Family or restaurant? Any ideas? What would be a good one? Family or restaurant? Now, let me just have a quick look at the tips here first because we do have tips pages. So, okay. My family. Saying words like my and yours are easy in Japanese. Just add no to words like I and you. Watashi. I. Watashi no. My. Oh, I want to learn this.、Um, and the reason that I want to learn this is just a few weeks ago, I was saying how I've been doing Duolingo for. A couple of months now, and they still haven't told me how do you say you, or he, or she, or it, or we, or they. They haven't taught this yet. It's quite interesting that you can learn Duolingo quite a long way before they get to he, she, it. So, what have we got here? Watashi. Watashi no. Anata. Is that anata? Anata. Anata. Anata no. Anata no. あなたの。He is 彼。彼。彼の。彼の。Okay. She is 彼女。Okay. So it's 彼。彼,彼女。彼女。彼女の。彼女の。Her something. 彼ら。彼。彼ら。彼ら。彼ら。So 彼。彼ら。So 彼 is he. 彼ら。Is they? Kanojo.、Uh, is she? Kanojo no. Karera no. Kare no. Okay. In Chinese,、um, in Cantonese,、uh, they pronounce the words for he, she, and it exactly the same way. So in Cantonese, the word is ko, ko, for he or she or it.、Um, so you don't get a sense when you're learning. Like when you're speaking in Cantonese, you don't get a sense of the gender of the person that you're talking about.、Uh, but here we have kare and kare,、uh, kanojo. Kanojo. Okay, so it's a little bit different.、Uh, kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Is that right? Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Oh. Oh, so can I say. あなたの名前は何ですか Or just like, お名前は何ですかあなたの、き、what's that? あなたの子供は何歳ですか子供、子供、children。あなたの子供、子供、子供、子供。あなたの子供は何歳ですかあなたの、あなたの子供。<laughs> Why is that a mouthful? 
Tanenobu was oh, Tanenobu san always says that his name is hard to pronounce. This is harder. Hold on. Anata no kodomo wa nansai desu ka? Anata no kodomo. It's too many o o o o o. Anata no kodomo. 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 Kodomo. Anata no kodomo wa nansai desu ka? Anata no kodomo. Anata no kodomo. It's hard to say. Anata no kodomo. Anata no Anata Anata no Kodomo wa nan Nansai Anata no Kodon Anata no Kodomo wa Nansai desu ka? Anata no Kodomo wa Nansai desu ka? I've heard that word before. Kodomo. Where did I hear it? Where have I heard this before? Uh, anata no Kodomo wa where have I heard this? Give me just a second. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, so it says here, Karera generally refers to men or a group where men are the majority. For groups of women, you can say, kanojo tachi. Oh. Okay. So we could just add tachi, plural, onto kanojo. Japanese has lots of words to talk about family. When you talk to your family members, or when you talk about other people's family, you generally use respectful words. San. So, what is this? Welcome back. Dad. おかえりなさい。お父さん。おかえりなさい。お父さん。おかえりなさい。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お
あ、おね、おね。お兄さん。お兄さん。あね。あ、お、あね。あね。姉さん。お姉さん。Oh, there's a lot to learn here. And it's still going. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, let's keep going. So, chichi mo, haha mo, genki des. Okay, chichi mo. Oh, so if two people are also, we can use mo and mo. Yeah, that's what you just said. You can use mo after each noun to mean both this person and this person. Chichi mo, haha mo, genki des. When you count nouns, you need to use a counter. Uh, we have seen hito. Is that hito or jin? Like a、uh, nihonjin. Ani ga kazu to imas. Ani ga hito. Eh? Ani ga kazu to imas. It says it differently. Hold on a second. So here it says, Ani ga hitori. It says hitori imas. Hitori imas. She's saying something different to what it says here. Wait, wait. In the Romaji, it says, Ani ga hitori imas. Ani ga kazu to imas. But she says, Ani ga kazu to imas. What's going on there? Is it wrong?、Uh, Tanenobu says the sound is wrong. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that then.、Uh, okay, let's leave this. We're going to jump out of here for just for a second. And go straight into the exercises because I'm going to run out of time. Let's try family and see how we do. The Romaji is right. Kanojo. Thank you. Hold on a second. Okay. What was this one again? Kanojo. 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 Kanojo no namae wa sakura des. Kanojo. Is that right? Kanojo no? 彼女の名前は桜です。彼女の名前は桜です。彼女の名前は桜です。彼女の名前は桜です。彼女。彼女の名前、彼女の。彼女の。彼女の。彼女。彼女の。彼女の。名前は。Who was it again? 桜です。Okay. Her name is Sakura. Kanojo. Oh, which one was it? It was the one with the girl. Kanojo. 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 Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Kare is a man, right? Kare no namae wa. His name. Oh. Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? What is? His name. I'm learning all this for the first time right now. Dare desu ka? Dare? Dare is who? Dare desu ka? Who are you, maybe? Dare desu ka? Is that rude? Dare desu ka?、Uh, Tane nobu san, dare desu ka? Who else is here? I think it's just us, isn't it? Dare desu ka? Who are you? Dare? Okay, Ryugaku. Ryugaku. Kare? Was that? Kare. Kare? Zu. Zu. Uh, 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 dare? Dare. And Kanojo. 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 Ryugaku. Kare? Uh, Ryugaku. Kare? Zu. Uh, what was that one again? Dare? And then, Kano, 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 Jo. Kare? Dare. Dare. Not Kare. Kare is this one. Kare. Kare. This one is wave,、Nami? isn't it? Wave. Kare. Kare. Okay. Kano, Jo. Kano, Jo.、Mm. Kano, Jo. Kano, Jo. Dare. Dare. Mai asa? Mai asa? Fe? Fe. Kare. Kare. Okay. 
I think we're doing okay. Uh, dare is. Dare. Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru des. Dare no. Was it dare? Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru des. Kare. Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru des. His name is Honda Shigeru. Kare no namae wa his name is Honda Shigeru. Honda's the surname, right? Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru des. Okay, Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru des. Dare desu ka? Me too. Dare desu ka? Who is it? Dare desu ka? Could we say that when answering the phone? Someone calls you, Hi, Anthony. Dare desu ka? Who is it? Dare desu ka? Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Kanojo wa doko. Let's listen again. Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Where is she going? Is that that? Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Doko. Is that where is she going? Where is she going? I can't believe I got that right. That was a complete guess. Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Kanojo wa doko ni imasu ka? So I got that because I remember、uh, ikimasu for going somewhere. And doko should be like, where? Oh wow, I'm really proud of myself. It's like a new sentence, and I guessed it. Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Kanojo wa doko ni imasu ka? Kanojo no namae wa nan desu ka? What is her name? Now I was reading it then, so that. What is her name? I'm not quite so proud of that one because I was reading it at the same time. Kare wa toile ni imasu. She's in the toilet. Kare wa toile ni imasu. Oh, he, he, he. Kare. Kare wa? Kare wa he. He is in the restroom. Kare wa? Okay, kare wa toile ni imasu. Kanojo wa dare desu ka? Kanojo. Kanojo wa dare desu ka? Kanojo wa dare desu ka? Who is. She. Who is she? Yeah, I'm scared my wife will ask me that question. Kanojo wa dare desu ka? Okay, let's keep going. His name is Shigeru Honda. His name is. His name is. Kare, right? Was it Kare? Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru desu. Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru desu. Kare no. We got this right. Kare. Kare. No. No. Namae. Namae. Wa. Wa. Honda. Honda. Shigeru. Shigeru. Des. Kare no namae wa Honda Shigeru des. His name is Honda Shigeru. And the last one. Who is that? Oh, who is that? That? Can we just say. Dare desu ka? Is that right? Is that okay? Dare desu ka? Yeah, we're just gonna say dare desu ka. Or do we need to say are? Are wa dare desu ka? Is that right? Dare. Let's try that. Because we have. Kore. Are. Are wa. wa. Dare desu ka? Are wa dare desu ka? Are wa dare desu. I, I, I imagine that if I had just said dare desu ka, that it would say that it was right. And we have reached our daily goal.、Um, I'm sorry that right now it is nearly 3 30 here in Hong Kong.、Um, next week, I'm going to go through another app that.、Uh, that Japanese language learners can use because I found this app and I think it's quite cool. And、uh, I will be trying this over the next week. This is Japanese crosswords. Okay, let me just show you how this works. So these are、uh, hiragana puzzles. So let's have a look. JLPT N5 level, that's beginner. 
I, why do I get the feeling this is going to be difficult? Okay, so this is an app called, what was it again? Uh, J Crosswords. And it's designed for students learning Japanese who want to improve their vocabulary. And it doesn't really teach you the words. It's more a case of trying to remember them. Um, but there's a bunch of words here. How many words have I found? None. None yet. You can, you can show them. But let's see if we can do this. Animals. Do we know any animals? Okay, well, tell us how to play first. So this is a puzzle. Let's click on a box. Okay, and it gives you a bunch of uh, hiragana characters. So we have wa, ki, ka, uh, ba, is that right? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Cute. Oh, I see what we're doing. Hold on a second. So it gives you some hiragana characters, and it wants you to guess the answer. So this one would be kawaii. Oh, I can do the same character twice. Then tap outside the box to close the clue. Okay, and if you want to know if you're correct or not, double tap. Kawaii. Okay, okay, that's easy. If you make a mistake, long press where you want to erase. Use two fingers to zoom. Uh, kind of puzzles have asterisks in them. Okay. Okay, let's try this. And try to get some onigiri. Okay. So yeah, this is a crossword puzzle for people who want to learn Japanese. And let's have a look here and see if we know any of them. Coffee, lounge, cafe. Father, de oh, wait, wait, father, we just learned that. We just learned father. <laughs> it was right there in Duolingo. Let's go and cheat. Okay, back to family tips. It's down here, it's down here, it's down here. Father is Otosan. 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 So it should be O. To. Oh. Is that it? Otosan. Oh, I'm wrong. So what's that middle character? Oto. Oh, no, 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 no. This one, this one. Okay, I want to erase that one. So it is o to san. Oh, no, 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 erase. Oh, it's all gone now. O to u san. There we go. O to san. So yeah, this is an app for kind of like improving your vocabulary. And I think this is quite good. Noisy or loud, younger sister. Um, toilet or restroom. I think this is quite good. Now, I don't think that my vocabulary is anywhere near university. Daigaku. I was going to say, I don't think my vocabulary is near enough to be able to do this yet. Daigaku. See, we got this. Um, but the cool thing about this is that it's based on the vocabulary that you might already be learning. So if we jump out of here for a second and we go home, or we can see what words we found now. Otosan and daigaku. Um, this is all vocabulary for people who want to do the JLPT N5 test, which eventually I would love to do, um, but I haven't signed up for that yet. But they've also got like book vocabulary. Look at this. Mina no Nihongo. Everybody's Japanese. And it's got the vocabulary that you would be learning in that book. So what's this going to be? Is it going to be like, I am Seagull, uh, Kaisha? <laughs> Whoa, nice to meet you. Hachimemashite. Maybe. Ha, 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 ha. Where is Hachimemashite? Eh? Eh, there's no hajimemashita. Uh, oh, hold on. Dozo yoroshi. Do, 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 do. What am I looking? Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Roshiku. Onegai shimasu. Onegai. 
お願い。どうもよろしく。えどうぞよろしく。That's wrong. How do I go back? No, I have to type in the whole thing again. どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。お願いします。I've missed a vowel somewhere. お願いします。Let's see what I got wrong. Oh, I got it all wrong. I think I missed an u right there. Do u. Is that right? Let's clean out all of that. Is it an u? どうぞよろしく。Let's try this again. お願いします。お願いしまーす。Okay, well, we've done all the characters this time. Do you think it's correct? どうぞよろしく。お願いします。Yay, we got it right. So you could use this for studying, like,、uh, Mina no Nihongo. I've got that somewhere. I've got the book hiding somewhere. And yeah, this app is quite good. I'll probably try it over the next week and see how useful it is. But I love this idea of a crossword puzzle that. It's not just that it's a, a crossword puzzle. I mean, the app is nice. You can see that it's smooth.、Um, it's. Easy to, to get around, but I love the idea that the vocabulary in here is based on textbooks that you might actually be studying, and I think that's pretty cool.、Um, yeah, but anyway, hold on a second.、Uh, I'm at work now, so I'm sometimes away from the keyboard. It's fine, I need to go to work soon.、Um, it is already nearly 3 30. I have an appointment at four o'clock, and I need to go and take the train.、Um, And I haven't even finished my、uh, Melon Ramonet yet. I'm not going to put that very highly on my Ramonet rankings, I don't think. But yeah, I do need to go soon. Thank you for coming, though. It's been really nice to have you here. And、uh, I'm grateful for your help. And、uh, yeah, keep going. Enjoy your work. And I'm going to jump out of here in just a second. If anyone else is here in the chat, thank you for coming. It's been nice, for,、uh, it's been nice to have you all here. And、uh, Take care, everybody, because I'm going offline now. By the way, I will be back here this time next Monday for a Japanese language live stream. And if I have time, I might do some other streams during the week. We'll see how that goes. If I do other streams, I will post it to Twitter.、Uh, you can find my Twitter over there. There you go. Anthony Kelly Yip.、Uh, my Instagram is the same username. Or you can just jump on over to Anthony Kelly. Dot live,、um, where you can find links to my Instagram, my Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and all that. So I would be very grateful if you would、uh, head on over there. And if I do any other streams, I will post about it. By the way, in case you don't know, we do have a super secret Discord channel.、Um, if you have a look here on AnthonyKelly.live and you click that hamburger menu, there is a link right there. Uh, to a Discord invite. So、uh, if you would like to join our Discord channel, please go over there and、uh, I will say hello to you on Discord. But yeah, thank you for coming and、uh, 